Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Sagittarius and why you cannot connect to your intuition, what's blocking it. Um, I have a workshop coming out at the end of March, which inspired me to do this spread for you because we're going to be activating the third eye and the crown chakra. And those two chakras are very important to be able to connect to your intuition. Um, so it's going to be exciting. And, you know, we're going to go through connecting, activating it. We're going to go through clearing it, meditations. It's going to be like a three hours, if not a little bit more, live workshop. So if you're interested in that, just click the link below and you'll see all the details. Uh, if you really want to learn how to connect and, you know, how that feels and, and meet your spirit guides as well. Okay, connect with your spirit guides. Yeah. All right. So. Whew, let's see. Yes, look at you guys. All right, we've got, and again, remember these are general readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The monthlies are already up, so you can check it in the channel, and I will start working on April soon. So those will be out as well. You've got the opportunity card here. Opportunity, you have be assertive and take action. So you know, I, I feel like you're not, you're not seeing it. I feel like there's an opportunity to connect here, but it's like, you just don't tap into it because you don't know what it feels like. You don't know what it's supposed to look like. You're not recognizing it. You can see she's got like all these little gold, um, coins and balls like coming down at her. So I, they're telling me that they are constantly sending you messages, your spirit guides, your angels, they're constantly sending you the messages, but I feel like you're looking around at all the wrong things, right? So some of you are looking around at all the wrong things. Some of you are questioning if it's really the message from your spirit guide, if it's really a sign, um, but there's opportunities around you all the time, okay? And they want you to be assertive and they want you to take action, so, you know, recognize the opportunities around and to be assertive with them and to be like, yes, trust yourself is what I'm getting. Like, yes, that was a sign. Don't doubt it. Don't question it. If it feels like a sign to you, then it's a sign. And to be assertive with that, to stand in your truth, to stand in your trust and to take action here. So they want you to work on it more. They want you to connect. They want you to open up. They're telling me that you, you... Don't give it enough time. So either you're sitting down for meditation for like five minutes and like, oh, nothing's working. Um, or you don't sit down for meditation at all. And, you know, meditation is not what everybody thinks it is. Because I had a very hard time when I first started trying to meditate because my mind was all over the place. And, you know, guided meditations just do not work for me because my mind is all over the place. So, you know, um, one of the things that you can do if that's you there's so many different ways of meditation. Meditation is really just bringing yourself back to present, which means that you're not thinking about the future. You're not thinking about the past. And um, so, so, you know, whatever that is for you, what I do is I just picture whatever I like, you know, like I usually do like a lotus flower and I just picture that right in between my eyebrows and I just keep focusing on that. And when you focus on that and then you see that your mind starts to run because it will, you know, especially in the beginning, it will. Don't judge yourself for that and bring yourself back to the picture. So it could be a red Corvette. It could be a butterfly. It could be whatever is interesting to you. You close your eyes and put that, that image right in between your eyebrows and keep coming back to it because when you come back to that, that's becoming present. So meditation doesn't always have to be what everybody thinks that it is, okay? Just like when we connect, it doesn't have to be what everybody fantasizes it to be like. Um, it's different for everybody. And you're probably doing it already, you just don't know. And um, you know, another thing that you could do is focusing on your breath. And you really just pay attention to your breath, in and out, in and out, how it feels, is it warm, is it cold, like all these things. Just focusing on one thing is bringing you back to the present. I also do this like if I'm in the car and I can't close my eyes or anything, I do it to the lyrics of a song. If I am constantly thinking on the lyrics of the song, I'm not thinking about anything else. And that's also meditation because you're bringing yourself back to present, okay? Uh, I hope that helps you.
All right, so you've got restriction, joy guides. So you're restricting yourself here because some of you are kind of distracting yourself with other things because there is a little bit of fear of what that is. And if you truly open up and you open these things up, you activate them, like how, what's that going to look like? And is it going to be open forever and no control? Like, no, that's not how we work. So therefore in my workshop, I show you exactly, you know, explain to you exactly how to set boundaries with everything and that it's all under your control. It's all under your control. Just like you have to ask your angels for help. They can't help you unless you ask. They can't come unless you allow. So, you know, don't restrict yourself based on fear. And then you have discipline here. So again, you're not being disciplined enough to sit down and do that meditation. It's like you want this, you want it, you want it, but are you willing to put the work in? And it's not hard. And that's why I show you in the workshop, like three hours, guys, three hours, you take this video with you and you can do it whenever. And, um, but within the three hours, you're already going to be connecting. So it doesn't take long. And even after the initial one, it's going to take even less. So you've just got to put the discipline in, in order for you to be able to, you know, um, put the practice, you know, uh, no, that's not what I'm trying to say. Um, like put the spiritual practices in. Okay. So like I explained in another reading, like it's like working out. It's like you've got to keep working it out so that the muscle gets stronger and it's easier to use. In the beginning, yeah, it's weak. You know, it's weak. You got to get it there. That's why we're doing an activation. It's like we are going to activate the crap out of your third eye and your, and your crown chakra. So unconditional love. Divine mother here. Take a deep breath in on that one. Beautiful. Love yourself for where you are right now, where you are in this journey. If you haven't been able to connect, it's not your fault. It's just situation and circumstances around you. No judgment. It's unconditional love for where you are right now. And knowing that what you want is coming and you will get it if you have the discipline, right? And you take action. But feel that unconditional love. Because when you don't love yourself, you have that ego, right? I always talk about that in the Facebook group, like the ego. Coming in, telling you all these negative things, making up all these darn stories that, you know, want to hold you down and want to hold you back. But when you have unconditional love for who you are and you accept yourself, that's when you can really connect. Because those negative thoughts, they don't matter to you. You push them aside. And that's like another exercise thing, <laughs> you know. The more you do that, the easier it is as well. Okay? So I hope that resonates with you. Leave me comments below. Let me know if that does resonate, if you like this spread. Um, and if you have any questions about your intuition and, you know, what it, you know, what it looks like. Again, we're going to be going over that in the workshop. But if you have any other kind of questions about it, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to help you guys out. Okay? Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Check out the monthly readings uh, for the month of March and the Aprils will be coming out soon. Much love to you. And if you want to join me in the workshop, so excited about it. Check the link below. Um, it's going to be freaking awesome. Like I, I'm so excited. I can't even. I, I wish it was like next weekend. But um, anyway, all right. Much love to you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.